Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to the User Bricks channel. Today we will be looking at an updated method of random teleportation. Now, this video can be used as a tutorial, but it is more focused on showing you how the teleportation method operates. And the procedure file, as always, will be linked in the description. So with that in mind, let's hop right into the procedure. Now, this procedure basically has six main sections to it. So I will add them back in and explain each one as I do. The first part is very simple and includes only two variables. These variables tell the rest of the procedure what state the procedure is in. The first one controls the max number of tries that can be made to find a spot to teleport to, and the second says whether a spot has been found. The next part utilizes the variables to tell whether it should try again or not. If not, it tells the entity that no spot could be found and breaks out of the loop. Otherwise, it shrinks the tries left and initiates the restart variable used later to lessen the amount of computation needed from the user's computer. This part here is where the randomness happens. It selects a random spot that is a maximum of 32 blocks away from where the procedure was triggered, in all three directions of course. The spot where it's triggered does not need to be where the entity is, but it is suggested that you do so. And if you want the distance of randomness to be greater or smaller, just increase or decrease as wanted. I will say though that there is a max distance which is limited by the amount of chunks loaded or the load distance as the procedure will start to fail as it tries to check blocks that are not loaded yet. Now, after it generates the random chords, it will adjust the Y level value so no blocks outside the build limits are checked. Otherwise, if the player is too close to either limit, it can make it so that the game freezes. So be wary if you change these values to larger than what I show here, because you will need checks to make sure you're in the correct dimension. The following section is kind of simple. It checks whether or not there is air where the entity will be teleporting to, and if not, it will check whether it is at its highest limit, and if so, it will cause the system to try again. Otherwise, it will raise the coordinate by one, then check the air again. This will continue until it has either reached its max height or has found a spot. The next section is very similar to the last one, except it will check whether or not there is a block to stand on. If not, it will lower the Y coordinate until it hits the lowest point, at which it causes the system to try again, or it will find a spot and will allow the system to continue. The last section is another simple one. It causes the entity to teleport and then causes the procedure to end. To test this out, we can create a simple item and select the teleport procedure from the right click trigger. And as you can see, we can teleport around randomly and we don't teleport into any blocks. Thank you all so much for watching. Please like and subscribe to not miss out on future how-to videos. This has been the User of Bricks channel. I will see you all next time.